Hi guys, welcome to a new video. Today I would like to share my um, uh, thoughts and setup uh, on my uh, on the motor mount for the i14 II, as well as the connector to the T-brace. So, in the last few practice on asphalt, I found um, first of all um, I remove completely the T-brace in the rear. Um, as you can see here, it's completely without the T-brace. Uh, what this gives is uh, you have a little bit more free car. Uh, you have a bit more side bite when using the T-brace. So when you take it out, the car will uh, rotate a bit more and, and be more free. So you have uh, a bit more steering. But I found this uh, useful on the asphalt uh, driving. And um, this uh, might be a good option when you need that uh, <clears throat> extra steering um, and rotation to help uh, you gain the last tens on your lap tanks. Uh, second of all, um, you can adjust the flex in the motor mount uh, by how many screws you use. Normally we use the front screw on the motor mount <clears throat> and two screws in the rear. Uh, what we did in the last uh, test, we removed the front screw here. Uh, this helped again with more uh, rotation. And I feel also a sense of uh, more grip uh, with a little bit more flex around the motor mount uh, position. Um, I think this can be useful in the low grip asphalt uh, settings. Uh, so I only use two screws in the motor mount. Uh, yeah, this can be a good uh, setup option to know. Uh, in general, the more screws you use, the more um, stable the car will be. Uh, but I found this setting to be uh, very helpful in the last uh, test. So uh, mainly in the motor mount, only two screws and uh, completely remove the T-brace in the rear for um, that extra rotation in the car. So um, yeah, please um, uh, try this yourself on your i14 II touring car. And um, yeah, please send me a message if you have any more uh, questions about the uh, motor mount and T-brace uh, settings. Uh, and again, please uh, visit the uh, uh, Infinity website for more information about Infinity products or contact your uh, local dealer. Uh, that's it for me today. Uh, thank you so much for watching and uh, see you next time.